Hey everybody, this is uh, Bear Killer 77 bitch Just wanted to do a update video. Um, see how everything was going with everybody and y'all. Um, life and whatnot. Just been busy, pretty much like working and everything like that. So, anyhow, uh, Comic Con went awesome. In the past month, I got to see some pretty awesome stuff. And as you can see, I have more posters from Comic Con. That one's on the left of me, or right on my side is from the Expendables. Um, there's one from that one to the this side of me, right on my left, whatever. It's from The Strain. That one's from, I don't remember which movie. And that one's like a Battlefield poster or something like that, which is signed. So, um, then I have a bunch of stuff on the floor. I still haven't... I've gone through some of it throughout the parts I didn't want. There's a lot of that. Just pretty much free comics. I have a couple of Doctor Whos that are signed. Doctor Who Edition 1 comics. Which are behind me here. Um, I got one from the 10th Doctor. This one's signed, and I have one from the 11th, or the 10th. I get it mixed up in my mind. This one's the 10th. This one's signed by both of the artists. Uh, there's three of them that did it, but two of them were there at Comic-Con. So... There's that from Comic-Con. I also have a Doctor Who encyclopedia, which is a bit bigger and it's kind of heavier to look around so um but that's just a doctor who encyclopedia so that's pretty obvious what that does um that's about it i have a comic con t-shirt which i can show you all too in just a minute and pretty much everything at comic con was standing in lines as you can imagine um, for endless amounts of hours, and it felt like hours. I'm sure some of them were minutes, but some of them were hours. My Comic Con t shirt. They were sold out of these um, about the second or third day in. You see the I logo. They were sold out of these by the second or third day that I was there. And luckily I did a pre-order, which means if you did it online uh, before you got there, you could simply pick it up. You just had to have your ID to prove that you were you. Um, so that's that. That's pretty much everything from Comic Con. I have a number of pictures, but they're all up on my Facebook account. And I know some of you probably do or don't have me on my Facebook. So if you don't and you want to add me, send me a private message and um, I'll hook you up with my Facebook account. I know some of you are already on that list, so you can see on my wonderful um, fate or uh, comic con pictures I couldn't I couldn't think for a minute um, normally at work but today I'm off so I'm trying to figure out what I'm want to do tonight I have a couple of options there's a Friday night service which I haven't been to in quite a while and I'm thinking of going to that or um, there's a so friends just texted me about my other option. Um, they're doing like an open house. I'm not a Mormon, but um, a friend invited me to the open house of this temple, which I don't. I'm having some serious doubts about it right now, and I don't believe that the Mormons 
are correct. I believe Joseph Smith was not who he said he was, a prophet of God, and I believe that he con he made up the Book of Mormon as it went along and everything else because there's I don't have time to go into this, this video so if there's Mormons watching this you can go to Sean McCraney's website or um, um, I'm trying to remember Utah Lighthouse Ministries website utlm.org or Sean McCraney's website hotm.tv heart of the matter um, so if you do that you can get all the information you need um, but I will say that the, the Mormons are not who they say they are, and they're very work-centric, and they say they're grace, but they're not grace. They're grace with works, which is, in my opinion, heresy. And the reason I say that, if you are offended, and, and you don't like my video, then I, I don't, I could care less why you, this is my YouTube channel. So, anyway, I believe the you that uh, the Mormons are not correct and and that um, any, any aspect of mostly everything Joseph Smith was a complete he was a complete fabric his the Bar of Mormons complete fabrication there is no of this um, Egyptian so called Egyptian whatever language the the Book of Mormon was supposed to have been written in. There are no verified historical record of this language ever being in existence, number one. Number two, um, uh, the way that the book, or excuse me, the way that the Mormons say that the Book of Mormon was translated um, where they did the translation or whatever it was. I actually did research on this, so if you want to dispute this, you can go ahead, but this is a historical record that Oliver Cawdry, one of the original translators on, and I believe there's only one or two, but Cawdry was a major player in this, said that it was not tablets, it was a seer stone. And what Joseph Smith did, he took a hat, he put it on top of this, this seer stone, and he he literally looked at it like that. That's how this thing came together. There was no tablets. There are no tablets that ever existed. None. And the Mormons who say that they do exist are wrong. They know it, and they know they can't prove it, so they'll say and make up the story that that this angel took them into heaven. Number one, there was no eyewitnesses to ever see these tablets. Not even Oliver Cawdry himself saw them. The only claim person who ever saw they ever saw them was Joseph Smith himself and he was a tall teller. Tall teller. Very. He was known in the city of, of Brooklyn, New York to tell tall tales. So there you have it. The Book of Mormon is completely fabricated, a complete lie of Satan. Satan himself could write this book, and the Mormons believed it. I believe, I don't, I don't know what I believe about it, other than it's a complete lie and fabrication by Satan, who's deceiving many Mormons in the world right now, about 8 or 9 million, I don't know the number, so if their numbers changed in the past year, I... I don't know. I have documents here proving these things. This is these are originals. I bought them myself. Joseph Smith begins his work volumes. I didn't expect to do this in this video, but I guess this is what God wants me to do. So here we go. Joseph Smith begins his work volumes 1 and volume 2, 1830. If you com by Mr. W uh Wilford Wood now, what's interesting about these is this is the original Book of Mormon. The original. There are no changes in this since back from the 1830 edition. These are literal, literal, literal first editions. The Mormons claim they have 
12th edition, they'll give you a Book of Mormon, but that has about 3,000 some odd changes in it. Okay, well, 4,000, I don't know the number. I think it's about 3,000. This is Volume 2. This has the Doctrines and Covenants. This has Lectures on Faith. 14 Articles of Faith. These are origin. These are not original. These are copy of originals. I wish I had original 1830. Yeah, that would be kind of difficult to find. But I do know a person that has originals somewhere in a safe place, obviously. So you know, LDS Church can't come and take them away. So the Mormons who do not believe me, I have a document in this book from the church, dated 29 July 1974. Here's a letterhead signed by Joseph Anderson. Mr. Anderson writes a letter to Mr. Witsit. Mr. Witsit, he says, the two volumes issued by Wilford Wolford entitled Joseph Smith Begins His Work were actual photographic reproductions of the 1830 Book of Mormon, the 1833 Book of Commandments, the 1835 Doctrine, Covenants, and Lectures on Faith. Therefore, they are accurate reproductions because they are photo photographically reproduce. The 14 articles of faith were taken by Wildrove, Wilford Wood from an early newspaper not officially approved by the church because the church doesn't do newspapers. So therefore we took them from the newspaper and, and reproduced them. So while one examines the these reproduction publications by Wood, one must be aware what actually went on. Joseph Smith made many corrections in the 18 37 and 1840 editions of the Book of Mormon. The editions are explained in the preface and title pages of the editions. The same could be said of the revelations contained, supposedly contained, I would add, in the 1833 Book of Commandments and 1835 Doctrines and Covenants. Apparently, Smith being that one who received these revelations had them recorded likely would have a right to add or subtract or change the revelations and did so in some cases. Therefore there will be some differences between these early publications and doctrines and covenants. We trust you keep this in mind as you study or read these two volumes. What that's saying is the Book of Mormon that the Book of Mormons will hand you and this one are two completely different things. They've changed, not the same. Don't believe me? Buy this book from utlm.org and get it shipped to your house. And sit down with a Book of Mormon in this in your hands and you will see for yourself they are about 3,000 changes. About 90%, I was told, of these are grammatical changes. Okay, maybe about 85. I don't know. remember the number. It was in that range. But a majority were grammatical, but there were about 10 to 15% that are major changes. For example, the doctrine of pearl marriages is one of them. There are several other, which I do not have time to go to, in this video. And you can go to utlm.org and find the original, or find the differences. And here's a... This is the changes, right here. Chart to locate 1981 Book of Verses, Mormon Verses, in the original 1830. You have to have a piece of paper which tells you where to find the two. These are these are uh, the differences right here. There, on this page alone there are 588 things. Differences between the 1830 and 1981. That is as far as I know the latest one. They still have not published the 2013 edition. It's still not uh, you cannot buy it. It's, it hasn't been publicly released as of yet. However, that will change in the next year or two whenever this church decides to do that, which I still think they're not going to change anything major. And 
It doesn't matter because the Book of Mormon is a lie. Mormon is a complete fabrication of Joseph Smith and everything else. There was no Moroni. Moroni was a complete fabrication, in my opinion, by Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith used a peep stone or seer stone to translate the books. So, there you have it, folks. Don't, I'm not going to go to the open house, whoever, if you're watching this video. It's a complete lie. The temple does not, there is no presence. If there is a god, he is very mad that the Mormons have decided to build this temple. There is no, no place in that temple that God is ever revered. Ever. Ever. So don't tell me that God is revered in this temple. He is not revealed. Not the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The only God that's revered in this temple is the complete false fabrication God of Satan. And don't tell me he's not, because he is. If you have a problem, take that with a God. Sorry guys, I'm just getting kind of emotional about this, but that's the truth. I've I've had it with these people my entire life, and this is my video talking about it. If you want to contact me about it, that's fine. But don't try to convert me. I'm not interested in joining the church, nor am I interested in going through any kind of tour whatsoever of this claimed temple. It is no temple of God. It's a temple of Satan. There.